Blue zones are areas around the world where a high percentage of individuals live to be 100 years old. Today on Million Ways to Live, we visit Loma Linda, California, the only blue zone in North America, where Seventh-day Adventists show the world that healthy living is possible in today's modern world. Meet Dr. Ellsworth Warren, a 100-year-old Seventh-day Adventist who retired as a heart surgeon at 95. He's been featured in National Geographic on The Oprah Winfrey Show and been interviewed by people from all over the world. We spent the day with Dr. Warham and his wife to learn his secrets to his longevity. According to Dr. Gary Frazier's famous 34,000 person study, the average Seventh-day Adventist vegetarian male outlives their average male counterpart by nine and a half years. Must be the veggies, right? not according to Dr. Warren. The reason why the California Adventists outlive the general population, I think is based largely on a spiritual basis. You have to come to this conclusion when you see that Fraser took and divided us up and 50% of, of the Adventists in California eat meat. But the difference between the ones that ate meat and the ones that didn't was only 1.53 years. You have to put it down to more than vegetarianism. It's the whole lifestyle that counts when assessing Seventh-day Adventist health, but individual habits deserve attention as well. According to Fraser's study, the most important habits for adding years to your life are as simple as eating a handful of nuts every day and exercising. Dr. Warham talks about his daily exercise regimen. Now, about 20 years ago, out of Stanford, there came a paper, and this paper said if you climbed a flight of stairs 20 times a week now that's only three times a day mm -hmm. you get me it's pretty hard to live in a two-story house and not climb a flight of stairs three times a day that you reduce your incidence of dying of heart disease by 46 percent despite living through two wars and a long career as a heart surgeon dr warren feels he didn't have a stressed life and his wife of 64 years backs that up too. She says she's only ever seen him stressed one time. We feel it's his philosophy on life that must be the most critical component to his longevity. I'll take care of the things I can do something about and the things I can't do anything about, I'll leave alone. You do the best you can and that's it. All your being stressed doesn't improve the situation one bit. Ultimately, it's the attitude and perspective you take on life that matters the most. Dr. Warham's closing thoughts really sum up his positive outlook on life and, of course, the pride he takes for his gardening. You can take control of your life and achieve what you want to achieve. You, you've got you've to gotta look at things in proportion and see the glass being half full, not half empty. You, you want to come out and look at my backyard? Yes.